This is the kitchen. Realtor Kina Greer Brashear shows off her latest million dollar listing. In fact, the asking price is over two million. Sits on five acres. There's a pond on site that's stocked with fish and turtles. But you don't need your own fish pond to hit seven figures anymore in Whatcom County. Much more modest homes are hitting that price point and becoming quite commonplace here with more than 260 of them selling over the past year alone. People escaping rising prices in Seattle and California are fueling the boom. Kina says she hasn't seen anything like it in her 27 years in the industry. So a house that was $800,000 last year, we're looking at a million plus in this market at this point in time. A million dollars doesn't go as far as it did in previous years. Prices are being pushed so high that Whatcom County just broke its own record for the most expensive house to sell. $7.3 million, shattering the previous record of $3.3 million. It means that the starter homes that the working families, the average families in Whatcom County could afford to buy uh, no longer exist. Dean uh, Fearing is with the Culshin Community Land pricing. Trust, which secures affordable housing for people. He says low interest rates and even lower inventory have pushed the average home price in Whatcom County to more than $650,000, pricing most people out of the market. If you're making eighty dollars to $100,000 a year, which are good wages, you still can't afford to buy a home. The Land Trust is developing this piece of land into a single family home to sell it below market cost to a deserving family, but Fearing says the county needs at least 500 more just like it immediately. I'm not exaggerating. It's actually probably more than that. I think we're short a couple of thousand affordable units in Whatcom County. Meantime, prices continue to climb up more than 20% since this time last year with no end in sight. Have we hit the top? We have not. It just keeps going and going and going. Leaving so many people in Whatcom County wondering if they'll ever live long enough to buy a home here. In Bellingham, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.